out to do this, we actually, our projections in terms of how many copies we would sell went from 1,000, maybe we'll sell 5,000, maybe 10,000. It was never in our wildest dreams that we would even win an award. So when we got nominated, thinking, you know what, let's celebrate this nomination, and then subsequently winning that award was, it just blew our mind. It's still, to this day, I don't understand how we have gotten so lucky. We are so thankful to the community for embracing us. First of all, we were passionate about what we were doing and I think that when you're passionate about what you're doing, good things will come. You will get to a place where you're happy. Second was we had a laser vision focus. There was a lot of noise outside of our bubble. You know, there's always controversy, there's always critics, there is always um, somebody who's telling you that a retro game hand-drawn in a 30s animation is not going to sell. It's not been done before because nobody wants to play that. And we didn't care. We thought, you know, it's fine that nobody wants to play it, but we want to make it. So that laser vision focus helped take us to the end. And third, I think it's having come up with something unique. So an area right now that is saturated in a lot of like the 3D games, realism, things like that, they look fantastic, they look phenomenal, they are great games, I love them. But I guess to set ourselves apart in being something that hasn't been done before. Hand-drawn animation, 1930s style, 80s gameplay. Let's marry the, those two together and see what we get. So it's uh, a bit of originality, I guess, is part of that formula. get a lot of feedback from people in saying that you can't make a game this difficult, it will not thrive. And every time we heard that, we were like, that's perfect because that's what the kind of game we want to make. It didn't dissuade us, it worked in the opposite effect. That every time someone told us it was hard, we just kept trucking forward and we're like, we're on the right path. The biggest challenge was obviously, I think, the amount of work. I've talked earlier about how many different scopes that we've had. It went from eight bosses to 16 bosses to so on and so forth, to the game that you see today. Going through it, we didn't really have a good grasp in terms of how much work we were going to have to do to get to the end goal. In hindsight, I look back and I'm like, how did we pull that off? <laughs> There's so much involved in it. So. While that's the most challenging part of it, it also serves as the thing I'm most proud of. Like, we poured our hearts into this. We gave it 110% every single day of the week. Um, and I'm proud of that. You know, we sacrificed a timeline that we announced to the public for sake of quality of the game. And that wasn't easy to do. We let a lot of people down when we were delayed in 2017. But uh, we were just remained true to what kind of game we wanted to make. And so I'm proud of that. You know what, we get quite a bit of um, fan mail from a very young demographic. And I think it's because I have, I have children that when we get a letter from a student in grade four talking about how he's gonna grow up and make games one day, or how she always thought video games were for her brothers only, but she saw me on something and now she's gonna get into games, that has been the best part of this whole process. I mean, obviously, being in this industry and making games and doing something we love is fantastic, but influencing people has been a standout, a standout thing as well. most excited that there is a brand new playable character. Her name is Chalice and she is the living form of legendary Chalice that we would have seen in the main game. She comes complete with a whole new set of mechanics and physics. So she responds differently, she plays differently. We did let out one teaser in that she has a double jump. There are new weapons and charms. There's a whole new island of bosses. So I'm, I'm really excited about it. There's 
They were just bosses that we couldn't get out of our heads. After September, we just wanted to bring them to life. So this is our opportunity.